Gaffer, three points here today, a, a great performance for the lads, you must be delighted with, with all things happened with you. Yeah, obviously, uh, to get the win, uh, it was important, I thought that we had a big crowd in here today, uh, a lot of the academy players and parents come and it, it's important to inspire them to be part of uh, the club going forward and I, th I felt we did that today, I, th I felt we played in the front foot, we got in behind, we, we created chances, albeit we never we, we never scored in the first half but I thought some of our playing in the first half was really good. Uh, and it's disappointing as John Pierre having to come off because uh, I thought he was he was causing problems and his hold up play was really really good. Uh, uh, big Ryan only it's an opportunity for him to go and play. And I felt his pace could get at them down a, down a side and the big man was so direct uh, and he really caused problems in the second half and it helped us go on and, and win the game. Albeit the, the goal doesn't come from open play, uh, it comes from a penalty. But listen, see, see when you're looking for your, your first win in the, in the league, if it needs to come from a penalty, it comes from a penalty. But the most important thing after that was make sure we got a clean sheet. And we did that. And at times, uh, Brian Easton throws his cell in front of the ball to, to, to keep one out. And uh, we needed that character because the players have been determined. I mean, we've been, been in front a few times this season and conceded a late goal, which has been disappointing. Uh, but today we've we seen that desire and togetherness to stop the ball getting in our box and also stop the ball getting played on target. So, uh, Really pleased, albeit I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, I felt we could have made it uh, a wee bit more comfortable in the second half with the chances that we created. A clean sheet as well, Ryan Fulton. He's, he's pulled off a couple of big saves in recent matches, but now he gets that clean sheet to his name. He must be pleased for him and the rest of the defence for the work they've done. Uh, listen, I'm delighted for Fultz. He's been great. He's been great all season. Uh, and at times he's, he's, he's pulled us uh, out of trouble with, with some, some brilliant saves. Today was probably the, his quietest game he's had uh, so far this season, but again, just that leadership at the back and, and the way he commands his area, uh, he's been great. So I'm, I'm absolutely delighted for him and the rest of the back, the back four and five at times to go and get their clean sheet. Uh, they deserve that. They've worked so hard uh, throughout, throughout pre-season, but this week especially after the, 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 the bad result last week, they've worked really, really hard to, to go and get that today. And Ryan Oney's played a lot of football this season, but he really seems to be finding his feet and, and creating getting on the end of chance, obviously the goal didn't come today but he has grown in confidence, is that a, a sign of things to come for you in terms of the season ahead? I l l listen, Ryan's young, he's 16 uh, and he, he actually played 45 for under 18 just the, the most important thing for, for him and for the club is we don't stall his development so if it becomes a case of he's going to, he's going to be on the bench for the first team on a Saturday why can't he play on a Friday for the, for the 18s and, and we can, can continue to develop him? He's one where it, we've got high hopes for uh, and you've seen what he could do in the second half, albeit I think he should maybe have scored a couple of goals and we've told him that. Uh, but listen, he's 16, he's got plenty of development to go, but these young, hungry players uh, can set the place alight and they've done that today and I, I felt the other 10 took responsibility for him because he's a kid in the pitch and 10 took responsibility and he stood up to the battle and let Ryan go and express his cell in the way that he does and I thought he was great when he came on. And John Pierre going off, is that anything to worry about? Is it too early to No, listen, John Pierre, it's a, it's a knee in the back, to be honest, it was... He wanted to go back on the pitch. He said at half time, I'll go back on. I want to play. I want to go back on. And I, I love that. I love that desire from him to go back on the pitch. But I felt the way the game was going, uh, it would have been a stoppage in the play. And we wanted to get a wee bit of rhythm in it. And it was probably better that we get Ryan on rather than, than, than John take the chance with John Pierce. So uh, he felt as if he could go back on the pitch. So we'll see him, assess him. Uh, and hopefully it's nothing. It's just a wee knock to, to his spine. Uh, but as I said, it was an opportunity to put Ryan in the pitch and, and try and expose what we thought uh, we could get our growth. Finally, the transfer window closes this week. Do you expect to be busy? Yeah, I expect, expect to, to do a bit of business between now and, and Thursday. Uh, we're actively looking, uh, but, we, but with that means uh, there'll always be uh, comings, but there'll be goings as well. So unfortunately, that's the way football works, but there's been a lot of... A lot of names linked with us over the past uh, three or four weeks, but hopefully by the time Thursday comes, we can get we can get the bodies that we're looking to get in and, and, and give us a good a good base and a, a stronger squad to go forward into the season with.